Hello Sagittarius and welcome to the first weekly love reading for singles of 2019. Sagittarius, I have already pre-shuffled your cards and I'm ready to go. This is a weekly love reading from the 23rd to the 31st. Now you come into this period with a card of justice. So um, justice in itself does represent the sign of Libra and you do have the Queen of Swords here. So maybe you are dealing with an uh, air sign. So um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Well, this can just represent you really trying to find um, the balance in your life between, if you have a look at the card, between your mind and your heart, body, mind, soul. What's interesting is when I have a look at the bottom of the deck, um, you do have the card of judgment underneath that. So it's like a resurrection. Maybe you've come out and you're you're no longer, you know, hiding from, from relationships, from wanting a relationship. And you could also be dealing with an, a fire sign. So... Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, female fire sign there. But really what I feel like it is, it's like the justice card can often be a card about commitment, wanting commitment, wanting something legal. It does represent with certain cards about marriage, um, although I'm not get, getting that in the spread. What I feel like it is, is you having um, the time, you're taking control of your love life, Sagittarius. You're like actually putting yourself out there. What's really cool is you start off this period with your card, the card of temperance and the nine of wands so you're trying to find balance i believe in in starting something new and creating something new and between work so it's almost like you're really busy with whatever it is that you're creating and putting out into the world and then you're trying to build something um something new some sort of new relationship either you're reaching out to someone and trying to build a new connection or they're reaching out to you um, and you could be dealing with an Aries okay I know I've said fire sign already but the Empress showing up here now this could be male or female um, if you are dealing with this person this is not your typical type of run-of-the-mill connection okay um, the Emperor represents someone that is um, a leader in the field they're usually well established they're probably older than you they're very grounded. Um, they're an emperor for a reason, right? It's like one half of a power couple. They've been through a lot. They kind of know who they are. They know where they're going. This person is um, quite charismatic. A lot of people want to be part of their world. So I really feel like maybe this is the person that you're juggling this new connection with and you're struggling with work at the moment to actually put the effort and energy you want into trying to either get to know this person or trying to build this new connection or just having the time that you want to actually you know, put into it. Um, at the heart of your reading, you have the Ten of Swords. So, and this is what I was saying before with that Justice cards. I feel like you're taking control. You're kind of stepping out of like one phase of being single and you're like, yep, yeah, I'm actually going to put my heart and soul into this and try and find my person. And I feel like this is, you know, I talk about energy all the time being one way or the other, but I feel like this is you really going out for what you want. You trying to build this new connection. You trying to find a new person. You trying to let go of being single. I feel like you've... Um, had a little bit of tr depression about being on your own because you have the five of cups here so it's showing me you being empowered and taking charge and letting go of stuff that's hurt you in the past no longer being in the states like no you know what I'm not going to sit at home I'm not going to feel sorry for myself anymore I'm going to go out and take charge for some of you you could be dealing with two people you could be juggling um, a fire sign and an air sign because I do have the two of uh, pentacles here coupled with the queen of swords so um, Gemini Libra Aquarius and this shows me juggling between two but I really get the feeling what I was getting before is that you're juggling between um, um, trying to to maintain like your everyday work and whatever it is whatever it is you create and do in the world like trying to juggle that and then also trying to actually build this new connection like get to know this person You do have the Four of Cups at the end of your reading as you go into next week. So this could show um, you extending your cup of love and it not being returned. So maybe you get a little bit of ahead of yourself and you try and jump the gun and you really like this person that you're connecting with. Maybe it's this emperor and you're like, wow, you see this person for everything that they could be in your life. You know, a good father, a good mother, um, a great sexual partner, like all the kind of things that you're looking for. And then you make a really quick quick too maybe too hasty kind of extension of let's go on a date or let's do something before it's even had time to build the foundation okay just try not to to rush the process try not to feel like you have to rush the process if it is what you feel it is Sagittarius and it is that kind of connection that you're getting where it's like this 
you're really going out after it and you're putting a focus on your love life and trying to change something, then it will fall into place, okay? What's interesting, and I just want to draw your attention to it, I love these cards, this David Bowie inspired deck, but if you have a look in particular in this one, I showed you at the very beginning of this uh, video that it was a balance between your mind and your heart, trying to find a balance between the two when it comes to love this week. And then you see here, it's almost like the heart being ripped out of the soul and being offered. So balance is what's needed here, yeah? Take your time and just process what's going on rather than acting on your heart, your emotion too quickly. And I feel like in doing that, you'll be able to kind of avoid this feeling of like, um, melancholy when the person's like not quite ready to receive your love. Now, of course, what I'm saying here could be the reverse. It could be the other way around that um, you're not quite ready to receive an offer coming in from someone, but I'm really getting that you're the one taking the charge because you're coming up trumps in your reading and the other cards that are around it. So that's part of the reason on why we watch tarot and we have our tarot read is so that we can actually get the guidance that we need about stuff that's going to come up, about energy that's going to come up. So the advice here is to just know if you are seeking a committed relationship and you are going for something, give it time. It needs time to build the foundation to grow, okay? Because I'm not seeing any... I'm seeing that you're juggling two things, two people, or between yourself and work and then trying to somehow build a new connection and rush it. Don't rush it. You know, good things take time. So um, just give it the space it needs to grow. All right, can I have some additional guidance for Sagittarius in love, single Sagittarius in love this week? from the 23rd to the 31st of January. What's the most important message they need to know? <laughs> so you got the card of uh, control. This is major arcana, so this is kind of like energy that you generally can't avoid, it comes in. Um, it is also the card of strength, a Leo card, and we just come out of the Leo uh, eclipse. Master, influence, accept, compassion, patience, and confidence. In order to flourish, relationships must be fluid and free rather than overly rigid and controlled by emotional neediness or insecurity. <laughs> what did I say about offering the cup of love too soon? And it's like, I need someone to fulfill this gap. Like, just give it time, right? It's important to master your emotions so that they do not rule the relationship. A partnership based solely on emotion is out of balance and out of control. Self-control is the key here. Act from a combination of emotion and intellect. Wow. Mind and heart. What was I just saying? That's crazy. And your relationship will thrive and grow. Be sure that your influence is gentle and loving. This is not the time for domination. And we know that you can dominate, Sagittarius. This is a time um, to accept another person's uniqueness and not to require that person to conform to a mould of your choosing just to make you feel more comfortable and safe. This card also serves as a reminder to come from compassion and understanding rather than anger and frustration. Now is a time for patience, steadiness and clear thinking. Apply these qualities to your relationship with others and with yourself. If you're involved with a difficult personal situation, try and look through the other person's eyes and experience what his or her heart and soul feels. Try to see the situation from another, another perspective. With control comes confidence. Allow a situation to unfold and detach yourself from the outcome. Don't try to control it. The end result of self-control and confidence is supreme peace. Take some time to examine how control in its many aspects is affecting your relationships. And then there's an affirmation that goes with it. If you guys meditate, it says, I control my emotions and I embrace peace. There you go, Sagittarius. Pretty straightforward this week. I hope you found it helpful. Just try and maintain that balance and you'll be fine. I wish you all the very best. If you like this video, please hit the thumbs up. It helps the channel more than you know. And I'll be back with you next week. Take care.